Hello, I am out back at my garden in the back and I see how, that I've got to do some work, but somebody asked me, would I show them the garden? So I'm going to turn it around and show you my raised garden. I see some folks on, y'all do some thumbs up or hearts or something to let Facebook know we're live. Okay, now here we are. I see, thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. Being gone last week, I didn't get to work in my garden to keep the weeds pulled up. So I'm gonna be out here tomorrow. Today, I canned some um, green beans for Gary and I videoed it and when Angela can um, edit it, it'll be up. But hey Mimi, hey Krista, Carlene, Cheryl from the middle of California, my goodness. All right, here's my collards right here. These are collard greens. These right here, it's my cabbage. See the head in there? Woo, we're gonna have some fresh cabbage. And I've already picked broccoli several times, but you know, I could cut these and have a little broccoli salad. See, there's my grass where I'd pulled up lettuce. I've got to get out here and work it. Cut off this cilantro so it'll start coming back out. And that's curly parsley and dill. Oh, my dill is so big. Look at that squash plant. Y'all, this, look at this. these pumpkins. Remember what happened? I put my pumpkins after Thanksgiving, I put them back here behind the barn. And... This spring I looked and of course the pumpkins had decayed, but there were seed and I got as many off as I could. Look at here. Let's see. There, there's probably going to be several varieties because I had several kinds of pumpkin. There's blooms everywhere. So I'm anxious to see what we're going to have here. But this is squash. Now this is in my raised bed. I have squash in the big garden that I really use. I'll just eat this. This is my cow horn pepper. And y'all, look at these beets. I think they're about ready for me to make some beet pickles. Look at that. Can you see? I love pickle beets. Harold does too. I want you to look, this is um, Tommy Toes or Cherry Tomatoes, some people call them. Look at all the blooms. Goodness gracious. Uh, this is Banana Pepper. Harold picked it today, that's why. And these are going to be uh, Bell Peppers. Look at all the grass I got to work. When you miss a day, it grows. But I'm telling you, it's easy to pull up. See, I just get down there. It needs water, and that's for sure. Look at these tomatoes. Okay, okay, good. It went out again. I'm sorry. Y'all, look at the um blueberries right here. I had to take some. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I don't need to be walking. Let me turn me back around. Okay. Is it frozen still? I hope not. Um. But anyway, I was going to show you my blueberries. We have some that's turning and uh okay mama said finally caught you live great i'm trying to stand still so maybe it won't freeze i don't know what happened 
spot, I'll turn back around because I know you'd rather see my no sound. Oh goodness, can you hear me now? I'm so sorry. I know it's aggravating. Uh, can hear now. Y'all, this is um, a limelight. I don't know what's wrong. Okay. But it, so many blooms on it. Um, okay. Somebody said they could hear me perfectly. This is the flower bed that needs a lot of work done in it because I haven't done anything. But isn't it pretty? Just with all kinds of flowers and uh, went out again. Okay. Uh, these things right here need to reconnect. I don't understand. Okay. The um, these are called, or I call them a hummingbird vine. And I bought a trellis. I ordered it on Amazon. And it's tall. It, it's going to go probably taller than that uh, olive tea bush right there. And I'm going to let it run up there. I think that's going to be so, so pretty. But, hey, Carolyn and Betty, in and out, and I don't know why. But, um... We'll just see. I'm gonna walk back to my front door. My porch is, I really need to clean it off. But I was gone all last week and came in and Gary's here and I've been trying to help him can, but let's walk up here. Amy bought this chair at the thrift store and she's gonna use it in her house somewhere, she said with the quilt over it. And all I've done out here is I put, I put a few little flags, you know, just to make it patriotic. But y'all look at this lemon. I bought those plants at Gina's greenhouse and go have one lemon. I want to change and find my blocks to say USA. I'll get to it. You know, you can only do so much. And y'all look at this maiden hair fern. Oh, it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. But, Northwest Indiana. Thank you. Now this is looking out from my front porch. My big garden is over here. I'm gonna try walking out there and I hope I don't lose lose you. I've, I have videoed from out there many times, but I just haven't been live. Maiden hair fern, Carol Ann. It's a maiden hair fern. Uh, Scout spent the day at the vet. We had to have him there at 7.30 this morning for test. Somehow they were going to draw blood every four hours after giving him something and they'll be able to determine if he has um, the Cushing's disease. But the more I read, I'm gonna be very shocked if that's not what he has. But they say they can treat it and many of you, I walked out this way, Many of you have said that um, you have your babies, some of them fine. Y'all, I'm not going to let it keep going in and out and in and out because I know that's so aggravating to you and I really don't know what I can do. But, um, you know, I told you I live in the country and all of this land right here the back of that house right up there, that's the first house that Harold and I built in 1978. 
and we lived there until 1986 and we built a house right through there. It's the one that Amy and Sean are remodeling. And you see that little double wide right there. After Harold's daddy died, we um, got his mother to move up here and she bought that. And Harold's brother and his wife bought our first house and so she lived between us. And it was so nice. I loved having my mother-in-law there. You know, a lot of people don't have a good experience with mother-in-laws, but I certainly had a great one. And anyway, when, um, when we bought our double wide that we're in now, we put it back here and it is so, so peaceful. Let me just show you. Um, there's, you can see that pasture fence right there. That's our line. And the, we, you know, just, it's so private out here. I'm sure that they're going to be cutting that pasture before long for hay. Because right over right through there is the old baker farm and so many people visit there they have um, school trips that will come to it's a working farm it's the over a hundred years old and the kids come and they have pumpkin patch and there's a christmas tree farm and everything but we um we love it here, and we're close enough. We can buy groceries. I've lost. Okay, we can buy groceries either at Walmart, or we can go to Childersburg, which is about seven miles. But anyway, I uh, I like it out in the country. I'm a country girl. I was going to try to walk over here and let you see the front of my house. Keeps going in and out. If I could control it, I would. But you can see Mason's little, one of his little cars. But anyway, just wanted to get on here for a minute and talk to you and tell you how much I appreciate it. Y'all heard the train. I didn't even pay any attention to it. Anna is a city girl. Karen says I live in the country. And, you know, I think whatever you're used to, home is where your family is. You can make any place home. And that's that's exactly what I try to do. I just want everybody to to be welcome here and to know that I love them. Um, okay, Jane says she can hear me. Great, I'm so glad. But, um, okay, Melinda Lawley said she taught at the middle and high school for six years. That's where my husband retired. He was there for 29 years. And I was at the elementary school. But that's been a long time ago. But um, I don't want to keep you. I appreciate y'all watching and following me. And so I will be back. Y'all know I have to pop in every day. That's like calling your friends on the telephone and I can't call all of you so I can just say hello here but thank you so much and I will be back tomorrow be salt and light and thank you so much for following me